All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today, not only are we looking at our first Link Summon monsters here on Card Review, but we're actually going to do a two for one. I don't do these two for ones often. I try to keep these videos shorter because there's a lot of editing to do. But you know what? Uh, these cards are just so similar. And right now, there's five Link monsters. So I kind of just want to, you know, do these two in this video and then one in the next video and then one in the next video and one in the next video it's how pretty much how we're going to break it down so it's going to be uh pretty much two weeks of link monsters which is fine which is fun so as you can tell by the title today we are going to be looking at decode talker and guy saber the video night so uh let's just get hop right into it so starting off we have decode talker he was revealed to be the Boss monster of the main character of the new show in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. Yes, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains with a V instead of a B for brains because it's VR. Aha, uh -huh, I get it. Real cute. Not really. Uh, but I don't think this is going to be the big bad boss monster. One of the things that gives you a hint to why it might not be is that his attack is only 2300. As we know from Yu-Gi-Oh! past seasons, I mean, we're up to season 6 at this point, 2500 is the main character's boss monster's attack. So, I'm kind of thinking that this is kind of like the Junk Warrior of the series, which is fine because he's actually a pretty good card for just starting off. So, let's actually look at this card and, uh, determine whether he is worth playing because i mean with how they're just shoving the link summoning mechanic down your throat you're gonna have to choose some link monsters to put in your extra deck to then open up some slots so this is decode talker he is a dark cybers cybers Cy cybers uh i believe it was cyber but i believe they changed it to cybers so c-y-v-e-r-s-e -E, cybers like effect monster uh his link monsters as you can t if you are looking at the art which is right there on the screen it's in the top the bottom left and the bottom right so uh he will open up zones for you when you play him in your extra zones to the bottom left and bottom right so two uh extra deck zones for you but in exchange one for your opponent so not only do they get their other extra deck zone uh because once you take one, your opponent gets the other, but then they also get another one from you as well, because Decode Talker is playing forward, and that's going to be on your opponent's side of the field, unless, of course, Decode Talker is in the main monster zone, connect something else, but he's not hes not really the one that you want to put in the main monster zone, uh, connect to another uh, Link monster. He want, You want him to be the main one, standing in front, in the extra deck space so he can point down to the bottom left and bottom right and then you can summon two more extra deck monsters right then there uh here's 2300 attack zero defense of course because link monsters have no defense and cannot be put in defense position he is a link three link three which means that you will be using three link monsters or a link two plus one monster but his materials are two or more effect monsters so he either needs three effect monsters or one link to effect monster plus one effect monster but it has to be effect monsters it cannot be normal monsters it has to be effect now the other card that we're going to look at he does not need to be effect so we're going to go ahead and compare and contrast because he's also linked to it. let's look at this effect so this card gains 500 attack for each monster in its linked zone so he could go up to a potential 3800 that, that's pretty strong you know so top left bottom left and bottom right are the things that are linked to him. So if there's something in the zone that's linked to him, he gains an additional 500 attack for each. So hopefully your opponent is not too forced to actually put something that uh, can't deal with uh, Deco Talker uh, right directly in front of him in that zone because you know he'll go up by 500 and go to 2800, which is over the attack barrier. So not bad. He also has an additional effect. So during either player's turn, I like that. I like that. You know. During either player's turn, quick effects, the spells speed 2s are very strong. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card or cards you control, card or cards, just you control, period, you know, whether it be Castell targeting something, whether your opponent's activating Twin Twister, doesn't matter. If your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card or cards you control, you contribute one of your monsters in the link zones negate the activation if you do destroy that card so let's say for example i have decode talker and i have a monster linked to him he's 2800 and you're like okay well i'm gonna use that zone that you gave me to go into castell and try to spin him i can be like all right well i'm gonna tribute the monster that i have that's linked to him and negate and destroy you now it's just a thing that monsters that because that arrow is pointing forward you can have one of your opponent's monsters linked to you but the whole negating to 
uh, when your opponent trig- uh, targets you, targets a card you control, that's only your monster. So, sadly, you cannot be like, oh, you targeted me. Uh, let me tribute your monster that's linked to me to negate. No, it has to be. It says clearly, it says tribute one of your monsters. Uh, overall, this isn't a bad effect. You know, I've seen a lot worse. And if he is the boss monster of Yusaku, he's actually arguably one of the best. I mean, Dark Magician, we're just looking at standalone cards. Not Dark Attack, nothing, but Dark Magician, he's 2,500, normal monster, two tributes. Yeah. Neos is pretty much in the same boat. 2,500, two tribute, normal monster. Nah, nah, as a standalone card, nah, you know. While he does use a fusion mechanic, uh, as a standalone card, he's not doing too much. Uh, then we have Stardust, who is, you know, arguably the strongest, where it's like, okay, well, you know, you activate a card effect that destroys, I'm going to tribute myself, negate, and come right back. So that's powerful as well. Uh, Utopia just kind of blocks an attack, eh, you know, not bad. And then, of course, Odd Eyes just like, oh, double the damage. Like, who, you know, who cares? All right. Uh, this guy, he's potentially, if, like I said, if he is the boss monster, which I'm kind of iffy about, like I said, he could just be the junk wearer of the series, similar to how when, uh, you know, 5 Beasts was first there, and it's like, oh shit, you know, Junk Warrior, this guy is the, this card is the boss monster of, uh, of Usain, it's like, no, Stardust is, but, um, if, if he's the boss monster, and beside, despite being 2300, he's actually pretty good, you know, being able to just block your opponent from targeting your cards, which, you know, some things do target, you know, it's not the greatest thing, uh, to go on right now, but, you know, just be able to negate, uh, and that effect and destroy the card that targets cards that you control, cards or effects, uh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, so I'd have to give this guy a thumbs up, you know, he should be one of the first monsters that you link summon, because when you put him in the zone, you get two more, uh, extra deck slots to go ahead and link summon to, and, you know, that additional 500 attack, you just need to put one monster, uh, link to him, he'll go up to 2800 over the attack barrier, and if your opponent targets something that you control, you can just go ahead and tribute, negate, and destroy. So pretty good, pretty good. Alright, now let's go ahead and move on to our second card, and it's two for one. So we have yet another link monster, this is Gaia Saber the Video Knight. So of course we have our generic Gaia-esque monster in the mechanic, the new mechanic, who doesn't have an effect, but he does his job. So he is an Earth Machine Link monster. His link markers are left, right, and bottom. So he's not as good as D Talker when it comes to putting starting off in the extra deck zone. You know, you summon him and he just points down. That's it. You know, but you know if he's connected to uh, D Talker, then he's actually pretty good. You know, you put D Talker and then you and one. You know, for example, whatever zone you put, the left or right, whatever one's more free of the field, you put uh, summon a uh, guy saber the video night, and he'll point left and right, and then, you know, look, you know, now you've got, what, three monsters, extra deck zones in your uh, regular main monster zone, so pretty good, pretty good. Uh, he has 2600 attack, of course, zero defense, link monsters have no defense. He is also link three. Uh, so, as you can see, Deco Talker, link three, guy saber, link three, uh, and they're their links are uh, the link markers. Our markers are different, so they're better. Each one is better for varying situations. But he is made with two or more monsters. So either it's three monsters because he's a link three, or one link two monster plus one link monster. You know, but it has to be two or more monsters. You can't just take a link three and exchange it for a link three. So I can't just take D Talker and put you know guy. It doesn't work like that because it specifically says two or more monsters. So uh, yes, I can do. Link three, Deco Talker, and you know a monster take the neg and some, but I can't just exchange one for one. It doesn't work like that. And like I said, similar to all the other Gaia esque monsters with the new mechanic, he has no effect. He's just a twenty six hundred Link monster. You know he is a neg because you got to you're going to be using two to three monsters to summon him. But you know you got to you have to use the Link mechanic to set up your uh, your zones and get more aggressive. You know. So uh, they definitely slowed the game down with the lead mechanic. I'm not complaining. I don't mind a slower game, but um, you know, I definitely say Deco's Talker is the better of the two. Uh, you know, starting out of the gate, this guy's like he's better once you have your uh, your extra deck monster zone established with the monster. He's better to then be the subsequent you know summon in the extra deck monster zone to give you two more to the left and right. But he's not really great that great as an intro. Uh, like I said, they both pretty much take three monsters, uh, while Deco Talker is uh, three effect monsters. Guy Saber is just three monsters, period. But it's not like you're using too many normal monsters. You know, monsters that are not effect monsters. So, uh, but uh, they're still there for uh, starting off with our first two uh, Link 3 monsters. They're both not bad. They both are situation good in their own situations. And, uh, 
we'll just go ahead and see how great they do and uh, how useful they'll be because Link Monsters, they're kind of shoving it down your throat. You have to play it, you have to do it, so enjoy. So uh, there we go, people. There you, uh, There's the first card review this week, the first double card review since uh, coming back from my break and updating the channel, and of course the first review of some Link uh, monster. So, tell me what you guys think about Deco Talker and Guy Saber the video night in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. We're looking at yet another Link Monster, so look forward to that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.